Welcome to the next video of the Actus Tutorials. A word of warning in the beginning. This video supports the Actus extension and you cannot use the features explained here without owning a copy of the extension in addition to your copy of the RF Core. In this video, I am going to introduce you to the article PDA, which we created for the Actus extension to pool information on the actors in a map. A good number of the other features of the Aquas extension, like the catalog, the shopping cart, and many others, rely on the article data assets to function. So it's absolutely necessary to introduce it first. If you need a reminder on how data asset works in the advanced framework, please head over to the video in the description. To get started, let's create an article PDA instance and open it up. As you can see, there are four categories of variables. Let's have a look at descriptory first. The name is referenced wherever a widget or other entity refers to the actor. The same goes for the description, with the difference that the description can be a text of multiple sentences. The most interesting variable here is the category. It's mainly used by the catalog to sort its entries. Let's have a look at the possible categories first. As you can see, it provides a top category and a subcategory, but you can also opt for a top category only. You are wondering where cate categories are coming from? Let's have a look. The categories are based on gameplay tags, which are collected in the gameplay tags data table. You can find that in the Aquas folder under data tables. Let's open it up. Here, each cell defines either a top or a subcategory by a tag of the structure category dot top category dot subcategory. The first category acts as code word and has to has always to be entered at the beginning. The other two spaces are to be filled with the names of the top and sub subcategory. Let's enter one just for example's sake. The next thing about this data table is that each entry here is automatically added to the gameplay tags in the project settings. So we can use our new category in the article data asset right away. Let's look at the appearance variables next. The texture on the image is shown for the actor in the widgets or on buttons. The material array has a very particular use. It reflects material sets you can create with the visual component to change the appearance of an actor. I am going to explain that in a later video. It would take too much time here. Let's go to starts next. Most of the variables here are exclusively used in the info window and the info section of the catalog. The reference is admittedly simply a gimmick. It's a simple name variable. The price is a bit more interesting. You add it as an integer. However, when the price is used in a widget, the last two digits of the integer are converted to decimals. Let me show you the function for that. You find our two currency function in the Aquas folder under libraries. We created it because the Unreal inherent two currency function did not provide us with satisfactory results. Let's open it up for a moment. As you can see, it simply converts the integer into a price with two decimals and a currency added behind. The currency is specified here in case you want to change it. Back at the article data asset. The stat fields provide additional possibilities to describe your actor. You can enter something like size, for example. Lastly, let's head to the logic section. The variables here have more of an internal use. The class variable is only necessary if you want to use the data asset for an actor that should be spawned by the catalog, for example. If you want to go without that, just set the spawnable boolean below to false and don't bother about the actor. The availability is set as an enum. Let's have a short look at it before we see how it's used. You find the availability enum in the Aquis folder under enum. Each entry constitutes a type of availability. Feel free to add another descriptor if you want one. Now let's have a look at how the enum is used. The reference viewer refers us to the article PDA and a number of widgets. Let's open one to give you an example. Here, the entry of the enum determines the visibility of the buy button in the widget, like this. That's all I've got for today. Bye-bye, and see you in the next video.